and I am back with another live stream on Thursday this week where we're going to have a fight and it's going to be the rent to owners versus the realtors <laughs> who's going to win I wonder uh, but I'm going to break it down for you we're going to have the tail of the tape the whole nine yards and I want you to be ready for an awesome confrontation between a rent to own deal versus a realtor deal. All right. Now, this is not really to throw shade at realtors. If you're a realtor, I want you to know that we love you. We do love you. But today, we want to break down a rent to own deal in such a way that we'll be able to tell the difference in the money between a realtor involved deal and a rent to own deal why is this important for us well it's important for us because it helps us with our deal theory that's so true and deal theory is very important you got to have some deal theory but you also you know that's what i mean by deal theory is understanding how the deal works right <laughs> so this is going to help with that but also this is going to help you when you're talking with homeowners to be confident that what you're offering them is a great deal see i think that is part of the issue if you're having a struggle making these offers it's probably one it's not because you're making it more complicated i'm sure than what it really is okay this is not ugly house wholesaling this is something different all right but it's not hard you just have to learn and so i think maybe perhaps and you might be complicating it in your mind a little um but another thing is you got to understand the deal theory of it so that you understand what the offer is to the homeowner is something that's substantially better than what they're going to get other places all right so how can you create that in your mind a picture of that in such a way that'll bring confidence to you so that you can make offers to homeowners knowing that these offers are great offers so i don't know if you can tell but when i play a homeowner call that I've had and you get to hear me, it sounds like I know what I'm talking about and what I'm offering is a solid offer. Mr. Homeowner, and I'll even say this, you're going to love me, right? Mr. Homeowner, you're going to love me. Yeah. And Mr. Homeowner, I'm the most serious buyer you've talked to this week. I have no problem telling them both of those things. All right. How is it that I'm so confident? Is it just because I've really, I've mastered the thespian art? No, it's not, it's not that. It may be a little bit, but really mostly I understand that the lease purchase offer is a good offer. All right. So I want to break this down today and I've got a spreadsheet that this, uh, the spreadsheet came to me by way of Steve Driscoll. I love the guy. Okay. I don't know where he got it, but it's called a realtor versus rent to own comparison. All right. And if you, if you own my course, this is in it, but there's, you know, if you're in my club, there's access to it and all that, but you probably have seen this before, but anyway, there's three tabs. There's an introduction tab, which what is what we're looking at, it looks like here. And it's going to tell us that lease options is the lowest risk, lowest startup cost, real estate business strategy that pays incredibly well. Okay. <laughs> we're going to we're going to show this though in the numbers. I'm not just going to say it. Linking to a property owner to a tenant buyer via a lease with option to buy transaction. All right, let's see here. Three easy step process strategy. Get the house, find the tenant buyer, close and the deal and get paid up front. Yeah, yes, that is, the, that is the, in a nutshell, if you were a nut. But <laughs> there's a lot that goes in between the lines here. All right, but it is, it is this simple. It is, it is true. Benefits. To you, everything you hate about other strategies is gone. Okay, I agree with all of this stuff. I love it. No dealing with distressed owners or distressed properties. No hard money, private lenders, lines of credit. No expertise needed to estimate repairs. No lowball offers. God, I love that part. 
No dealing with contractors. No feeling like you're taking advantage of others' desperate situations. And I'm going to show you how you're going to make you, this, this. Is you showing up on the homeowner's mobile phone doorstep? Okay, is like I want you to start thinking of it as I'm on a mission from God. Okay, and when I show up. It's like they're either my people or they're not, you know, one or the other. Because your offer is amazing as a lease purchase investor. And I'm going to show it to you here. We're going to have the breakdown. No feeling like you're taking advantage of others' desperate situations. It says no guaranteeing payments, taking on risk, no waiting on closing to get paid. Okay. Click tab two and three. Let's just skip there. Tab two is the comparison chart. And so let's, here's where we fill in some variables. Like, for example, what is the full market value of a property? All right. So let's assume a property. And I'm going to put in $387,000. Why did I pick that number? Well, I find in my business, bread and butter is between. Well, it's, I was going to say between zero and 500,000. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I'm in the lease purchase business. So I am definitely um, in affordable housing business. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> right? <laughs> affordable housing, like what? No, not like Section 8, but like affordable I, every tenant buyer i've ever done a deal with y'all can i throw a y'all at you right there coming at you has every tenant buyer i've ever done a deal with was thankful to be buying an opportunity with some cash an opportunity so yeah affordable it has you know most that I'll say bread and butter nowadays is below 500 K. Okay. If you're between 500 and a million, you're, you're in a nicer neighborhood. I don't care, you know, probably where you're at in the country. Maybe there's some, you know, maybe that's not true every place. Cause again, like I was saying the other day, real estate is so local, but you know, for the most part out there and about in the world that I've, traverse in you know bread and butter is 500k and under and then you've got 500k and over uh, can can you do them well sure you can and are the spreads bigger oh yes i made 50k on one last year that was 950k yeah nice that was a nice score oh i wish i could do one of those every week well maybe i could but i'll tell you what you're, you're talking to a more sophisticated seller. <clears throat> you're talking to a more sophisticated buyer. And you're probably closing at a title company. You're employing things like an escrow company to collect funds and distribute and so on and so forth. Keep records. and you know, there's, there's, there's things being recorded at the courthouse. So... You know, on a 500000 and less, a lot of times these are in and out deals for me. I'm doing a, a lease purchase agreement and, and, a, and an assignment addendum and a disclosure for my tenant buyer, and I am out, Ski. Adios. So let's pick a full re retail market value here. <laughs> Long story short, 387 <laughs> All right. Let's say the list price. <clears throat> it suggests that the list price be uh, attractive here. So it's what it's suggesting is, is that uh, if a homeowner knows the property is worth 387000 then they could probably assume that they're not going to get full 387000 if they haven't gotten it so far. Right? If they haven't gotten it so far, and a lot of times they've had their house for sale for a bit. Okay, so what are they going to do? Uh, 
I don't know. They're they're thinking about either listing it with a realtor or or maybe selling it to you. You, you. You're this crazy investor with this lease purchase offer. So, but let's assume that we're going to take off 13% because of off of fair market value. All right, 336, 690. I don't know. That seems maybe I did the math wrong. Let's just change it then. Let's let's make it attractive. Let's say they did 369,000 off of fair market value there. 387,000. They're they're going to list it for 369 because that's that that's a pretty nice attractive i would i would call that attractive personally yeah so um oh it says five percent right there i i think i have another spreadsheet somewhere that says 13 but you can see what we're doing here we're just changing the yellow here on this spreadsheet and so you can see it auto populated two columns here the left is what's happening if they're selling with a realtor what's happening on the right column is what's happening to the homeowner if they're selling via rent to own ding 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 let, <laughs> fight let it begin it's gonna be a, finish him here at the end yeah it's definitely gonna be obvious when we slide down a little so you can see on the left if it's worth three hundred eighty-seven thousand. And they would be happy getting three hundred sixty-nine thousand, and the selling price <clears throat> that they ended up arriving at using a realtor was three hundred and fifty thousand. And then they pay that realtor five percent commissions, which is almost eighteen thousand dollars. And then they have to help seller help. That means sometimes the seller has to help the buyer. Let's say the seller helps the 3%, $10,000. Maybe, maybe that's something that the seller has to do to make the deal work. Okay. 2% closing cost. The seller is going to hit for 7K. 1% requested required repairs. These are like repair contingencies. $3,500 gross sale, 311,000. I don't know what their mortgage is, but let's assume we have a, a mortgage amount for them at 298,000. All right. So the difference I don't know what I did there when I, I put I put mortgages in here. Uh oh, yeah. So um let's see here. Three hundred eleven thousand. I was tracking it there until I threw that in there, then it kind of confused me. Net to you the owner on a on a uh realtor sale here. Let's see. I'm gonna throw in a mortgage amount. Let's see here uh 300 let's just do 300,000 okay yeah see that doesn't i'm i'm lost here now on my own spreadsheet uh, i got egg on my face here i'm a little confused because fair market value is only 387 you wouldn't they this homeowner would not net so what i'm doing here is i've got to put a minus in here that's what i'm doing wrong here okay there we go Duh. Sorry. You know, it's spreadsheets, man. Spreadsheets are the are the are the the bane of my existence, aren't they yours? Like really like <laughs> like spreadsheets are just they'll just wreck your life, you know? It doesn't matter how how many times you've used one. There's there's always something there, man. You know, I used to have a boss. I <laughs> I really enjoyed working with this boss, but he used to say, uh, I'll give you one tip a day when it comes to spreadsheets. One tip. That's it. That's all you get. One tip. And I was like, okay, because, <laughs> because spreadsheets, man. Oh my god, gosh. That's just it's tough. Okay, so we got it figured out now. So if you put a mortgage in with a negative, that 
that fixes it all. Net to you, the owner. Okay, so they would be netting with this agent sale, 11989 That makes sense. And then if they were still doing this, though, with you instead, let's, let's go down that column, the average rent to own, all right, full market value, 387 list price, 387 Okay. So in other words, you can give them full market value even. All right. All right. So full market value, list price minus, there's no low ball offers here. The tenant buyer option down payment. Now this is, if you're wholesaling it, this is, this is your fee. Okay. 15 K. Okay. That's what that comes out to be. 15 K. So that's what you're shooting for. That's the shooting match right there for you, the investor. All right. 15 K. All right, so you can see why I'm interested in this business immensely so far, because so far we've established that I'm able to offer uh, full market value here to a homeowner without lowballing them at all, and I can still squeeze in 15K profits pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm suggesting here. That's what I'm submitting to you here. You won't, there won't be any seller concessions, seller helps, seller helping with the closing costs or any of this. This can all be put onto the tenant buyer really. Okay. You know, at least the tenant buyer side can be. And I've even done deals where tenant buyers recognize that there had to be some level of work done to the property before it could be purchased. Okay. And any improvements that were made become the possession of the ownership of the owner. So it's a good deal on that side, but we have a, a real opportunity to create what I like to call a 360 win, a 360 win. That is a win for the homeowner. Because you can see the homeowner is going to get right here in this bottom line. They're going to net 71K. Okay. And that's a difference between selling with an agent of uh, just under 12K. So the difference is almost 60 grand. Okay. It, so this is, this is kind of a cool way to maybe even present this to your homeowner if you feel like you're inclined to, okay? Now, but you, you might want to include the rest of this or you may not want to include the rest of this because, but wait, don't forget about the monthly cash flow, okay? And I'm here to tell you that the sandwich lease options are where the real money is anyway. This monthly cash flow stuff really adds up, okay? If you're doing a substantial amount of deals at all. What I mean by a substantial, a number, a, a decent number in a year, like if you're doing five to 10 in a year, you, you, if you somehow uh, make a focus in your mind to do sandwiches and you do half of those as sandwiches or even a third of those, that will substantially change the bottom line for you, especially nowadays. Okay, so let's assume the monthly rent on this three hundred eighty-seven thousand dollar house is twenty-three fifty. All right. Now I don't know what the mortgage payment is, so we're going to have to make up. Uh, we're going to have to make up a mortgage payment. Okay. Let's assume the mortgage payment is eighteen hundred and fifty dollars a month. Okay, because they got it back when it was two and a half percent. Okay. Now it would probably be somewhere around, you know, 20, 28, 50, you know, I don't know. It, it's going to be substantially more. So let, let, let's go ahead and change that actually. Just, just to show you the power here. Let's just say 2,500 flat. Let's say that's what the monthly rent could, could be on this property. Okay. After all, it is a $387,000 house. Okay. So I, I feel like we're not being crazy here at all. Uh, not in the United States now. I mean, if you want to talk about what's crazy, some of that's crazy. Let's just assume there's no HOA. Let's assume there's no other, you know, no other fees or anything involved. Okay. All right. So 
I've got to do, um, it looks like, again, I've got to, to put in a minus here on the, on the mortgage payment. Okay. So $650 cash flow a month times 12 months. Okay. If this was just a 12 month lease, but let's say, let's say we got it for 24. Let's say we got it actually with the homeowner for 36 months because we're, we're getting into that kind of market. Y'all we are. Okay. If you don't hear me on any other thing that I'm just verbal diarrhea all over the microphone today, if you don't hear anything but that, that I wish you'd hear that because we are getting into that time right now. Okay. Where we could do 24 to 36 months. Look, but look what happens 650 a month over 36 months. Oh, that's a lot of money. That's $23,400. Where does that go, Justin? Well, it could go in your pocket if you were a sandwicher. Okay. Um, if, if you're not a sandwicher, then you're going to give this to the homeowner and you're going to show the homeowner, hey, listen, not only are you getting full market value, but you're going to make a boatload of money every month. Okay, that's you're walking away from that. See, as a as an assigner, okay, but as a wholesaler, in other words. But if you are willing to sandwich this deal, okay, now you're talking about some real money. All right. So, how much is the mortgage being paid down? Um, I don't know. I just threw in three fifty. Okay, so. Um, you know, three fifty would mean that there's another twelve thousand six hundred dollars worth of equity being built into the deal. So if you had a, if you had to, you know, to give this to the homeowner, you know, you could show them that hey, not only are they making twenty three thousand four hundred dollars in monthly over thirty six months, but they're also going to have their mortgage paid down twelve thousand six hundred dollars. All right, so the total difference here is a whopping $95,000, the difference between selling with a, a realtor and selling with a lease purchase tenant buyer. That's the difference, 95,000 more for the rent to own. Isn't that wild? That is some pretty wild stuff. I, I think it's wild. All right, so I haven't been checking the chat or anything. I don't know if you guys are uh, even hearing this, but I hope so. And I'm going to try to see what the chat says, if there's anything in the chat. I don't know. Probably not. But um, let's let's do it again because that was so much fun. I want to do it one more time. And I want to talk about things a little more quickly as we go through. Okay, but let's start at the top. And if somebody wants to put in something in the chat, we could even do that, all right? But um, we could run an example even. So let's just do another example here of, uh, let's just do a, a more simple example, $249,500, okay? All right, well, they're probably not gonna sell it for 249,000. They're probably gonna sell it for, you know, Two hundred and thirty-one thousand nine hundred dollars. All right, because that's you know I don't know maybe maybe they're gonna sell it for full price. Let's let's just assume that okay. Let's just assume they're gonna sell they're gonna list it with a realtor for two two hundred forty-nine thousand five hundred dollars, and they're gonna they're gonna sell it for that exact amount. Let's just assume that. Okay, well. That's not what the spreadsheet assumes, though. The spreadsheet assumes that they're going to end up taking five percent off. Okay, you'd probably get in here and edit that if you wanted to, but I I don't know that I would. But I think that's pretty. I think that's pretty normal. I don't know. I'm not a realtor. Pretty normal to have. What do you guys say? Put it in the chat. Is it normal to have five percent dropped off? Maybe, maybe don't know. 
So put it in the chat. 5% off asking price. Okay. Well, it says here that would be 237000 It assumes 5% in agent commissions. It could be more than that or it could be less. I don't know, but 5% is $11,851. If they had to offer 3% help to the buyer, right? Seller's help to the buyer. That's 7K. 2% in closing costs is another almost 5K. They have, to, they have to fix something in the bathroom. They have to fix a roof leak. They have to fix a gutter thing. $2,300. All right. So... Let's assume they have a mortgage of 187000 All right. So what we're looking at is the homeowner, after paying the mortgage, is going to make $23,952. But if they were doing a rent-to-own... Okay, without all those things in the middle, the contingencies, and see the we are the investor if we're the assigner here. If we're shooting for four percent, we're still gonna make ten grand. Okay. We're still gonna make ten grand, and the homeowner is still gonna make fifty two thousand five hundred and twenty dollars, which is a difference of twenty eight thousand five hundred and sixty seven dollars. So again, the realtor versus the rent to own guy. It looks like the rent to own guy is kicking some tail here. All right. I love you realtors though. <laughs> I'm just saying this strategy is great. Maybe if you are a realtor, you should learn this strategy. I'll be happy to help you. But let's not forget about the monthly cash flow. All right, so let's assume that this property, now how much did we say it was worth and all of that? We said it was worth full market value, 250, okay? So let's say that this guy's payment every month is $1,600. Let's say 1650, all right? Well, let's say what we could get in rent. That's what we should be putting here. So this is what we could collect in rent now. Will be let's say twenty four hundred and fifty. And I'm just making up numbers here. And let's say his mortgage payment is minus sixteen hundred and fifty. Because remember, we got to do the minus. All right. Let's say there's no homeowners association or other fees, which we could put here if there were. The monthly cash flow, 800 a month. How is this possible, Justin? Well, these are fictitious numbers, but, but what we're running into in the real world is not drastically different than this. If you look at it in this way, okay? If you look at it in this way, now, I'm not saying you're going to write a deal like this suite every day or every week even, but I do believe that you will see more and more of these as we move forward. Yes, I've found three so far this year, one late last year, and I'm enjoying them every month. Okay, so um, there's money here in the monthly in a sandwich business, okay, in a sandwich business, which is why I wanted to get into this business in the first place, okay, because of that monthly. I mean, isn't that really what we all want is monthly income on properties that we had to put no money in to buy? I mean, does it get any better than that? I don't think it does. I submit to you that it doesn't. Okay, so let's assume here, 2450 is what we could rent the place for today. The guy's mortgage payment is only 1650. We're going to give him we well, let's let's assume we're going to just assign this deal and walk away. We're going to let the homeowner have this $800 a month cash flow for 36 months is $28,800. Okay. 
plus his mortgage pay down if we assumed it was 350 a month his mortgage pay down is going to be another 12,600 so look the difference just gets even bigger so the difference now is if you consider the monthly is $69,967 in favor of the rent to own guy in favor of the rent to own guy What's going on, Ty? It's good to see you. Hey, man. That's really cool. Well, cool. Thank you. I'm glad you like it, man. Um, you said you've done three of them and you're enjoying them. What's enjoying them mean? Um, I'm keeping the money. That's what it means. <laughs> I'm keeping the money. I'm sandwiching these deals, okay? So there's a couple ways to look at this. You can look at them like, oh, well, I'm just going to walk away, all right? So if you're just going to walk away, then what's built into the spreadsheet here, at least, is 4%, all right? So you can see you're looking for a down payment from a tenant buyer put in your pocket an assignment fee of $9,980, basically ten grand. But if I'm going to sandwich this deal, I'm going to keep all of this monthly stuff. I'm not going to give this to the homeowner. I'm not going to assign this deal. I'm going to sandwich it. Okay, see, that's the difference. So I'm still going to collect that 10 grand up front, but I'm going to be the meat in the middle of the sandwich here. And I'm going to have I'm going to have my tenant buyer sending me $2,450 a month. And I'm in turn going to send my homeowner's mortgage company <clears throat> or homeowner $1,650 a month because that's covering their nuts. See? So I get to keep the difference. In this scenario, it's $800 a month. That's why I got in the business. I got in the business because of that right there. Because I don't know, when I started out working at a J-O-B, they were paying $4.25 an hour. Which means that I would work all month full-time and overtime and still make less than $1,000 a month. But somebody, some fool told me, hey, look, this is how you create money out of thin air. And man, I was in love. Because I can create 800 a month. I can create 500 a month, 300 a month. Okay. All of it means something. <clears throat> All of it means something. So if I'm going to sandwich that, I'm going to stay in the middle. I'm going to get here collecting the 2450 paying out the 1650 If I'm just going to assign the deal, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the tenant buyer for that 10 grand down right here. And then I'm going to basically assign the deal over to the tenant buyer. I'm going to let the tenant buyer start sending the homeowner $2,450 a month. And that homeowner is going to be making $800 a month. So if you're in any, if you're in the assignment game and you're looking at a deal where there is any spread at all, it does make sense to tell your homeowner, Hey, look, I've got, I've got a spread built, built in here for you. Every month, this homeowner is going to be sent, you know, you're going to be sent $2,450. It looks like your mortgage payment probably ain't that P-I-T-I. -I. Oh, no. Well, we're only paying $1,650 a month. Oh, well, my goodness. Well, how does an extra $800 a month feel for the next little bit while they do this? Okay. So... You know, I know going in that I'm going to make at least this 10K. And if there's a spread there, I'm going to sandwich the deal and try to capture the rest of that. Now, there's, I've got a sandwich school if you're interested in sandwiching because there are some things you need to know about sandwiches if you want to stay safe. Because sandwiches can be a little more risky. And so I want to give you some good advice. I have a sandwich course, but sandwiching is really where the real money is. If you are in this business for the long term, it makes a lot of sense 
if you are good at managing money, it makes a lot of sense. If you like to play around with rentals and ideas of being a landlord of sorts, then this makes a lot of sense. But mm, you're not very good at money. You're not very good at hanging on to money. You're not very good at not spending every penny you have. And if you're not very good at, oh, I got the bills on this day and I pay the bills on this day, if you're not good at that, if you're not, <laughs> then sandwiches will be, it will be your undoing. Okay. Because this is, this is in, this is big guy stuff. This is I'm making money every month stuff. Okay. Off of a property that I found. Yeah. Perfect storm, Ty. What's going on, my man? Hey, man. Uh, I almost forgot you were coming on. So, my bad. I, I did catch the uh, re re rewind that you did briefly, but that's really cool. Uh, it's exciting because you're helping people at the same time, too. And then I get some of these, sign these bandit signs going. Dude, that is never, never truer words probably about the business have been spoken than what you just said right there. I mean, really, it's it's time for us to all get out the bandit signs. I mean, really, get out the bandit signs and get 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 them out there and get the phone ringing because there is a like what what the guy post there in our uh, in our chat this morning. Um, something really really awesome. I, I, I want to read it if I can find it real quick. And uh, he put something in there that said, it just blew my mind. It's like a little cheat sheet. Here it is. I got it. It says, I found this, saw this, thought I would share. Number one, interest rates have surged at a rapid pace. Boy, my, <laughs> when I saw that, man, my ears went up. I was like, oh, we're going to, we're singing my song now. Okay. Number two, potential home buyers are falling out of the market at the fastest pace ever as they no longer will qualify for the new payment at the higher interest rate. If you don't know what the difference is between a 2% loan and an 8% loan, go, go play around with mortgage calculator on Google. Number three, you have a, it, it is a substantial monthly difference. Which, okay, maybe I should just pause right here and we should show that. Uh, you have a maybe seller lead. Number three, you have, you have a maybe seller lead. The seller's on the fence, not quite ready to pull the trigger and sign your contract. Number four, remind them of points one and two, especially since they're seeing this in the news as well. Number five, tell them that they are that since you're an investor and buy based 100% on numbers, that your offer will likely go down, not up. If they wait much longer, but if they sign today, they can have peace of mind and not worry about interest rates or the market. That's really, really good. And Lee posted that. Thank you, Lee. That that is exactamundo. Bingo. The attitude that you got to have and you need to start ad adopting now on your phone calls. <clears throat> Let me see here if I'm, I'm just going to Google mortgage calculator and see what happens and I'll share screens and I'll, let's just experiment here real quick since we're kind of playing around with numbers and we've shown, we've shown basically the battle between realtors and rent to own <clears throat> and how rent to own just makes massive more money uh if it's successful right so here's the thing mortgage calculator all right Let, let's let's go here and just build in a $249,000 property deal okay let's let's say it's 259 cuz we we marked it up from 249 so we make 10k right off the top man what a sweet business we just yeah, we're just going to make 10K right on the top there. Okay, 30-year fixed, 
8.394 is what it suggests for today. Okay. All right. Include taxes and fees. All right. There's where we're talking about $2,400. $2,400 a month is what it costs to buy a house today. Credit score 700, 719. Let's change this to what it was two years ago and say it was 3.394. Look what it did. It dropped the payment. It dropped the payment from 2,400 a month down to 1,579 a month, including the taxes and the fees and all of that. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it crazy? So you can see what I mean when I say when you find a motivated seller and you capture that deal, you capture it. How do you capture it? You put it under contract, lease, purchase, full market value. Perfect, fine, wonderful. Mr. Homeowner, if I put the full market value on the agreement, is that enough for you and me to move forward today? Look, if you can control that property for that guy's mortgage payment, well, if he only needs, if he only needs, in other words, let me make this real clear. I'll show on the screen. If he only needs the sixteen hundred a month to cover his mortgage that he got at three point three nine four percent. If he only needs sixteen hundred a month to cover that, but you put an opportunity together for someone to come in and purchase this property, oh, let's assume at seven point three nine percent. Now you've created a monthly spread. The difference between twenty two hundred and twenty three dollars and fifteen hundred seventy nine or sixteen hundred dollars, which is about six hundred bucks a month, right? That's the power of a sandwich. That's the power of a lease option agreement that you found where you can take over sending payments that are equal to a low mortgage, turn around and we are dealing in a high mortgage world, okay? You've created a spread. Now, you can stay in the middle of the sandwich as the meat begin collecting that 600 a month. If you assign this deal, then you're agreeing to either give the homeowner a crap deal <clears throat> because you're only going to charge the tenant buyer the 1600 a month, or you're going to turn around and give the homeowner a great deal and give him the 2400 a month or 2250 or whatever it was. And you're going to walk away with all that money going into his pocket. Okay. Now you would not want to do them on the dirty side and give him a crap deal where, where the tenant buyer is only paying 1600 a month in this house right now because of the value and because of the neighborhood and because of the size and the location and the, the way it looks. And because it's an opportunity to rent to own it's 2250 right now. Okay. You could create that spread, keep that spread. <clears throat> it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. If you are capable of managing a deal as an adult, And I don't mean that to sound snotty or anything. I'm just saying because, you know, you are, in a sense, a landlord, all right? Interest rates have surged at a rapid pace. Potential home buyers are falling out of the market at the fastest pace ever as they no longer will qualify for the new payment at the higher interest rate. Exactly. The difference between what was sixteen hundred a month a couple years ago is now twenty three hundred a month. That's six. That's six seven hundred dollars a month difference, y'all. 
Where's that money going? Where's that money going? I'll tell you where it's going. It's going in the savvy guy's pocket. Okay, are you a savvy guy or are you just a sad guy, right? Might be. You know, I don't know. It feels good to be sad sometimes, doesn't it? I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. But then you got to quit doing that and you got to get your ass back to work. Right? Because that's that's the grind, right? But here's here's a nice way to get out of the grind a little, and that's at least get some grind relief. Maybe that maybe I should start a website called grindrelief.com. Right? Because that's what this is. This is grind relief when you create an 800 a month. When you create a 600 a month. Okay. All right. I was, uh, I've shared some of these deals before. I hate to be redundant. There's videos out there. I've, like I said, I've, I've contract, contracted three of these this year, one late last year. The one I did late last year, I, I made 900 a month off of so far every month this, this year. 900. You're like, wow, how's that? Well, there was a $700 a month spread, and then there's a $200 financing charge that I've, I've financed some of my assignment fee because they didn't have it all down on the upfront side. They have strong monthly. They didn't have as much down as I'd hoped, so I financed it. See, I'm just, I'm just being a player. Okay? That's all. And you can, too. There's money out there, especially right now, when they all start screaming, hey, this is where it's all coming to. It's all coming to an end for the for the realtors and for the, the, the real estate market. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you what, man, my coaching is going up. Everything's going up because this right here, man, I've been telling you, this is it. This is it. You know, <laughs> I'm not saying my coaching is going up for the people that are in my coaching program. But what I'm saying is, is we are not screwing around no more. This is for real. This is real business time right here. Real business time. So everybody, hey, it's time for all men and women to put their pants on. Okay. Because there are homeowners out there begging for some assistance. And folk just cannot afford those 8.834 seven whatever they cannot afford that payment so here's what ty was saying we should do bandit sign i take over house payments walk away today call text justin <clears throat> call text justin that's right you want to write that down everybody screenshot that Go ahead. <laughs> if you got a house, you want me to take over your house payment? I will definitely, definitely do that. All right. So um, Ty's want to know, could you package that, sell it to another buyer investor? You know, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to, especially if it's cash flowing like that. You know, I mean, if it's cash flowing, you're going to, that's definitely a deal you can sell to another investor guy. But why would you? You just keep it yourself. I mean, there's there's just ways of doing it that are safer than other ways. And I'll help you with that. But there's no reason to give a deal away like that. I would hate to see you give a deal away like that. If you were like, hey, Justin, I've got this deal that's 650 a month cash flow spread it's a spread between 1700 and 2350 oh oh okay hmm. Hmm. i'm gonna suggest that you get i'm gonna suggest i'm just gonna suggest unless unless you're like living la vida loca okay and you can't keep a dollar to your name uh you know you're gonna have to have an emergency fund okay I would that's that's the that's the big kicker here okay you need to have some some self-control in the sense that let's say you get ten thousand down you're gonna have six hundred and fifty a month okay 
So what does the smart guy do? Well, the smart guy, he takes part of the 10K and he says, okay, well, I'm going to put a couple, two or three months worth of payments in the hole here. So if something goes wrong and I'm the sandwich in the middle here, I can still have a breather. Okay, I can hit a payment if I have to. All right, so there's that. There's, there's having a plan, a contingency plan in case something goes wrong. All right, there's having that. That's always smart. Not telling a homeowner, oh, well, I'm going to pay for everything. Don't you worry about nothing. Okay, making promises you, you can't keep. We don't do that here either. So there's some smart ways to do sandwiches. But, man, if you had a sandwich like that, that there'd be, you'd just be crazy to not take it for yourself. Really. Sell it to a guy like me. I I might buy it from you, but what, what are you going to get? You're going to get instead of 10 grand, you're going to get what? You're going to squeeze me? I'm going to give you 15 grand, and then you're going to walk away, and I'm going to get 650 bucks a month for the next 36 months? I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know. Does that make sense? I, I don't think it does. I mean, it just makes sense to go ahead and stick it out because $650 a month for 36 months, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a smart guy. I have a calculator. $650 a month times 36 months. $23,000. So, I mean, it probably wouldn't even be worth 15 grand. I mean, just with the risk and everything. So I, you would just like, keep it for yourself. Absolutely. Keep it for yourself. So how do you find these deals? You find them with these bandit signs that we were just showing. So put them all around your neighborhood, put them in your, put them in your Facebook, put them in your Facebook groups, put them in your wherever. Put them everywhere. Put them everywhere. It's a great idea. All right. So, you got any questions for me, Ty, or anything? It's good to see you, dude. Thanks for being here. No, I'm pretty good. I'm glad you went through it a couple times. That's good. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'd be happy to do it one more time if you want. But... You want to you want to volunteer some numbers? We'll go through it. It's up to you. you. Don't have to. We got most houses here are like three hundred fifty thousand. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go here to three hundred and fifty thousand, mm -hmm. and. List asking price two hundred forty nine thousand five hundred. Let's see. Let's change that to three hundred. We're gonna we're, they're gonna offer them the house at five hundred off, starting right off. Well, let's assume they sell it at five percent less than that, because you know nobody wants to pay full price, right? Especially as the market changes and becomes more of a buyer's market, you're gonna find that's so true. So three hundred thirty, yeah, three hundred thirty-two thousand agents commission of five percent would be sixteen thousand. If they have to volunteer to help the sell the 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 buyer, you know, seller helping the buyer in some way or another, and and, and sometimes this is help with down payment or help with something else or something. I you know I don't know, but it it, it is not uncommon for buyers to to need some assistance in some way or another. Maybe. Maybe if you pay for our realtor, you know, uh, something, I don't know, but <clears throat> something, something costs here. And so that's, that's typical is what this spreadsheet suggesting is 3%. So that's another 10 grand, 2% in closing costs, 1% in contingent repairs. That's 295,000 gross sale average asking price percentage, 85% percentage of retail value, 84%. Let's assume they have a mortgage of uh, two hundred forty-seven thousand. So that would be negative two hundred forty-seven thousand. That's going to net the owner forty-eight thousand five hundred and two dollars. But if they ran the same system with a wholesaler like you. And they got three hundred fifty thousand for the property, without any of these other selling concessions here and, and fees, 
and they paid the they paid Ty fourteen grand even. Okay, in the deal. Well, there we go. The difference is eighty nine thousand in their pocket versus forty eight thousand with a realtor. Yeah, it's better. It's all right. <clears throat> oh, a lot better. Yeah, the difference is of almost forty one thousand dollars in their pocket more. But that's that's not that's not even counting the monthly. So let's talk about the monthly. What would those houses rent for over there? The same three hundred fifty thousand dollar house. What's it rent for over there? Hi. Yeah, like two thousand a month. Okay, let's do it. Let's do two thousand a month. Okay. Let's just assume. Let's assume that it's a, a skinny deal, and the guy's mortgage payment is still sixteen fifty. Mm-hmm. Well, that's still three hundred fifty dollars a month. Prices have gone up, so over thirty six months, that's an additional twelve thousand six hundred dollars in the investor's sandwiching pocket. Yeah. Or you're going to assign this, and you're going to give this money to the homeowner. <clears throat> one of the two, or you're going to sell this house to a tenant buyer and charge them 1650 a month, and they're going to have a crazy great deal, and they're never going to want to buy. <laughs> yeah, right. it'd be awesome to keep that low. Yeah, it'd be easy it'd, it'd be easy for you to find somebody to assign it to, but yeah. yeah. Um, they'd be like, wow, I got this crazy great deal. On this house, like everybody else is in paying two grand a month, and I'm paying sixteen fifty, and I've got rent to own and everything. So that's cool. So, but the difference here, you see the grand total. Oops, sorry guys, it's, spreadsheets are hard. Uh, Sixty five thousand dollars total. If you add in the purchase price money that they're going to be getting up here in the first section, which is the forty thousand, there's a difference of forty thousand on purchase price. And if you add in the monthly, well, that just grows the difference from 40000 to 65000 you know. So there's a big difference, big, big, big difference in doing rent-to-own versus realtors. Maybe nowadays is uh, a, I've seen some folks hitting up, um, and I don't think this is a bad idea, and I'm not the guy that teaches this, but I've probably probably could start if I wanted to try it myself but it this is just shopping on the MLS even going long days on market and hitting up dudes that have been hey my house has been listed for sale for five months and then all of a sudden they get a a letter from you with a spreadsheet like that, that shows that they can make X amount of money dollars way more than they were try- than they were on the MLS. And you might pick up deals after the MLS expires. <clears throat> now I know that sounds like realtors are like, like why he's trying to tell people how to take our clients. Well, I'm trying to tell people how to take the clients since you're failing. If, if you're not able, you know, if, if you can't, sell the house and it's been five months it's going to expire in six months it's been six months it's going to expire in eight months your listing agreement's going to be toast maybe this is where you get smart and you partner with a local investor and you start bringing buyers that have down payments and you guys start running through these like clockwork Mm -hmm. boom 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 okay right off the mls Right off the MLS. All right, just a thought. Um, I'm telling you, we we are in the the we are on. I'm on the diving board right now. Okay, and uh, triple Lindy. I'm about to do the triple Lindy. Yeah, and if you don't know what that is, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm going to do the triple Lindy. It's not been done in a very very long time. But, <laughs> but this, if if there's one guy that can do it, <laughs> it's it's Lemon. That's right, <laughs> Lemon. What was his name? What was his first name? Metal Lark. 
No, that was a that was that's a Harlem Globetrotters guy, Metal Lark Lemon. But I Lemon was, that. huh? I don't know the name. I forget. Yeah, it's a good movie though. It's a good one. All right, so we are on the precipice though. We're on the diving board, and we're about to dive off into the biggest least purchase opportunity that you've ever heard ever it's absurd okay and a lot of you out there i know are drawing back okay it's like well money's tight times are tough blah 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 you're buying into the hype you're eating the bullshit you know i get it i get it it is tough out there but the reality is is that now is really it's just now starting it's just now starting and we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of this coming up man if you're not ready for it you gotta get ready i'm trying to warn you because this is i know it's fun to watch stuff and daydream and all that but when it comes down to it you gotta make a deal happen you gotta make a deal happen all right can't just think about it you gotta make one happen how do deals happen deals are messy y'all every deal i've ever done mostly has been messy in some way it's got hair on it it's an ugly monster you know there was risk involved in some respect of <laughs> i mean the, i've gotten involved in things i shouldn't have and i'm i'm here to help you not make some of those same decisions but at the same time I I know that I've learned a lot in my failures too. And I've, I know that you'll learn a lot by doing, even if you do it wrong, you can undo things a lot, and redo them. <clears throat> so anyway, don't mean to babble so long, but we've been going a little over an hour now, so I'm going to pull the plug, but anything else, uh, Ty, love you a bunch, man. Thanks for being here, bro. All right. We gotta, we gotta do, we ought to do something, man. We ought to do something once a week. Yeah, uh, we ought to do a, a an I Love Jesus comedy show or <laughs> something, man. Something great. I, all right, I'm just throwing that out there. He's all right. I try. <laughs> all right, dude. Bye bye.